Now I want to make a web user interface for this script and I want to use a Flask framework. Let's install it. Then I'm creating a new file, main.py, and uh, here I'm importing the Flask class. Import Flask. Now I have to create an instance of the Flask class. The app variable will be an instance of the Flask class, and I am passing the name variable into it. The name variable refers to the name of this file, the main.py file. And we have to use the name variable to let the Flask determine paths to its templates, static files, etc. Also, I want to create an entry point for this script. Again, it's if name equals to main block. And I'm calling the run method of the Flask instance. I want to set the debug parameter to true and uh, Flask will automatically restart the development server when the files of the project will be changed. I can start the development server. We can see that it works. The server responded with a not found error because uh, my Flask app does nothing. Now I want to create the function that will handle requests to the root URL address to the local host 5000 port number. In Django terminology such functions and classes are called views. So let's define a new function. Let's say it will be the index function. And now I have to set the index function as the handler of all requests to the root URL address. To do it, I have to use the road decorator. Decorator, the app variable, and it has the root method that takes a string, the URL address, and it means that all requests to that URL address will be handled by the index function. If you want more details about decorators in Python, consider watching of my video about decorators. The link will be in the description. So, the index function will return the result of the render template function. Return render template. Now that I have to import. And the render template function will return to a user the index HTML template. So it's a string, the index HTML. Now let's create this index HTML. Let's create a new folder templates. And inside it, I'm creating the index HTML. I use the Emmet plugin that will create for me the basic HTML layout. I want to use bootstrap CSS files. So in the getbootstrap.com website, I copy the link to CSS, copy, and somewhere here I want to paste it. It's bootstrap 5, by the way. Then I want to have the container and uh, the Roblox standard bootstrap layout. Container div will have the child raw div and it will have the div with the call 6 uh, CSS class and uh, it will be centered and margin from top 5 bootstrap units. And let's say it will have the hello world h1 header. Let's save it and uh, refresh the page. Okay, it's working. Let's rename it to lawns and the class will be margin from bottom 5. 
And now I want to have a form and submitting the form will create a new block in the blockchain. Form. And uh, on the bootstrap website, I need docs forms input group and I think that I need this form with a label copy and paste it here I need three such inputs for borrower lender and the amount two three And now I want to change it a bit. I want to change the four attributes of the label tag. It will match with the ID of the input tag. And uh, the, for the first input tag, it will be borrower. Then the text of the label will be borrower. And uh, the text of the spun tag will be name. And uh, I repeat these steps for the rest two groups. And uh, also I need a button before the closing form tag. Let's look at it, F5, and I've got the form. Then I have to handle the submitted data. To do it, first of all, I have to set the action attribute for the form. The action attribute is a link to the function that will handle the submitted data. It's the index function. And uh, so inside these double quotes, I use paired curly brackets like in Django. In this place will be inserted the result of the function. And then I'm calling the URL for function and passing to it the name of the index function. Index. And also I have to set the method attribute of the form to post method equals to post and then in the main py file and the road method call i have to create methods parameter it's a list of http methods that the index function will handle post and get the next step I have to save somewhere the data that I input in the form fields. I need to save the data and then pass it to a Python function. To do it, I have to use the name and the value attributes of the input tags. I am creating a new attribute, the name. And the name attribute is uh, something like the name of a variable. And the name will be the borrower for the first input, the lender for the second, and the amount for the third. And uh, actually the value attribute will be created automatically. Okay, it's done with the HTML template, and uh, the submitted data will be stored in the request object. Let's import it. request. Then in the index function I want to check whether the request was the post request or not. If request method attribute equals to post and then in the body of the if clause I want to get the values of the input fields. 
To do it, I want to use the form dictionary of the request object. The borrower request form. And uh, as uh, the form is a dictionary, I am calling its get methods. And I need the borrower key. The borrower key is defined by the name attribute of the input field. And uh, the same for the lender and the amount. Lender amount. And I would like to print them to check whether it works or not. Let's refresh the page and input something. Submit. And we can see the Jack, Alice and 100. So it works well. Now I want to pass this data to my write block function. That I have to import. Let's import it. From the block py model, I want to import all. Or maybe write block and check integrity functions. Then I call the right block function in the if close the borrower parameter gets the value of the borrower variable the lender parameter gets the value of the lender variable and the, the amount is the amount let's test it i want to open the blockchain Atom will be on the left half and uh, Chrome on the right half. So let's Alice 100 submit. And I've got the 13 block, file name 12, the previous block. Okay, it works. Now I want to add to my page a button to check integrity of the blockchain. In the index.html file, I want to create a new container with uh, the same structure. Child raw, child call. And here, I need a second form that will have only a button. Let's look at it in the browser, F5. The check. And I want to have the button centered. Bootstrap buttons are inline block elements, and so to center them, I have to assign to its parent container the text center CSS class. And its parent container is uh, this diff with a call 6 CSS class. Text center. Okay. The action attribute of the form will have a link to a check-in view. So, we roll 4 and uh, the function that will handle this form will be check, for example. And in the main py file I want to create a new view. Dev check and uh, it will handle requests to the Checking URL address. Results. And uh, the results will get the returning value of the check integrity function. Of this function that returns a list of dictionaries. And uh, the check function will return the render template 
function and uh, it will render again the index.html file and also I have to pass to the index.html file the results list, this one. And I want to pass the results list in the checking results parameter. Checking results. It gets the results list as the value. And as you can probably remember, parameters when we'll get values become local variables. So in the index.html template I can use this checking results variable somewhere below the form. I have to define a for loop in the template and to do it I have to use curly brackets and then I define a for loop like in Python for rest in checking results variable in this variable and I have to close this for block and for. Here I want to use a div with some text and the text will be the following the block then I want to paste here the value of the block key of the res dictionary because the checking results is a list of dictionaries and the same for the results key the results list is the list that will return the check integrity function and each dictionary has the block and the result keys so the results is the list of those dictionaries this list will be saved into the checking results parameter and the checking results parameter becomes the local variable that i use in the index.html file then i iterate through it in the for loop and uh, in each iteration of the for loop in the res variable will be this dictionary and then here i just get the value of the block key and the, the value of the result key let's check it in the browser f5 restarts the server i click on the check button and uh, i've got ok okay margin bottom 5 and here margin bottom 5 and now let's uh, change for example the second block I want to delete 0 and again refresh the page and we can see that block 2 was changed again let's return it back to its initial state save and again check and it's okay again it was the demonstration of the core idea behind a blockchain conception if you like the video push the like and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching